In this video, we're going to have a look at reflection and transmission of waves at boundaries. Here we see an instance of a wave of light or a ray of light, a wave front uh, hitting a new surface, a surface of glass. It's traveling from a less dense medium towards a more dense medium. Now, if you have a look at this part of the wave and compare it with this part, what, notice, what do you notice? What change? Now, if you notice there's a change in the wavelength, that's what I'm trying to draw your attention to. So, <clears throat> as it comes from one medium into another, there is a change in the wave. Now, one of the things that hasn't changed is the frequency. The colour of that wave is just the same. So this is what happens when we do have waves going from one medium into another. The wave changes in some ways. In this instance, it's in the wavelength. And <clears throat> without any change in frequency, that also means that there is a change in the velocity. Let's have a look at it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's have a look at another instance. We don't have a fixed definite boundary here. <coughs> Let's have a look at another instance. We don't have a, a definite boundary here, but this is a situation in which we've got a tsunami heading towards uh, the continental shelf. Now that continental shelf we can think of as a as a, a barrier or a border and what ca what happens there as you can see is that there is a ch again a change in the wavelength what doesn't happen is any change in frequency and therefore what we do get here is a change in the velocity or the speed let's have a look at another instance here we've got a a source of sound waves here. This is an ultrasound inducer. And obviously we're looking here at <clears throat> a study or a medical situation where we're looking at a pregnancy, checking out on the baby. And what happens here is that as the sound comes through and it hits different layers within the, the body there, uh, it behaves in a similar sort of way. We get reflection, first of all, and this is how we pick up the image here of these various parts. With any change in the, uh, the density, we get some reflection, but we also get transmission. So the, some of the sound waves can continue to go on through to another boundary, and then we get reflection from here, from that boundary, and so on. <clears throat> So what's actually happening? Well, let's have a look. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's happening here is we've got a pulse. This could be an extended wave, if you like. That's heading towards this part here, which is a more dense boundary. And this section here shows you the results. When it gets here to the edge, we get some refre reflection. And you can see the nature of that reflection there. It's a phase change. So this more dense medium is behaving to some extent like a fixed boundary. We get some reflection, but we also get some transmission. And of course, transmission means the wave continuing to pass through. But you'll notice some of the features of this pulse. First of all, some of the energy has been reflected and that's indicated also by the smaller amplitude here. But you'll also notice that there is a change in the wavelength. No change in the wavelength here. So what that means is that we would have a, a wave going through there at a lower velocity. So that's from a light medium to a heavy medium. But if we have a look now at what happens when we've got a heavy medium, a pulse coming from a heavier medium to a lighter medium, you can see here the pulse is arriving here at the boundary. 
And what we have then is some reflection. So we've got some reflection here, but you'll notice now that this lighter medium behaves like a loose end and we get a phase change we get no phase change here at this uh, at the, ref with the with the reflection but we do get changes here where we have transmission you'll notice first of all that with the lighter medium we've got a larger amplitude you'll also notice a difference here in the wavelength you can see that there compared with the wavelength here. So we'll have a, an increase in the velocity. We don't get the creation of any more energy. The total amount of energy here uh, plus here would be equal to the amount of energy in the wave there. So no increase in the amount of energy, but we do get a change in the amplitude of this lighter medium. So these are the things which happen here at our various boundaries. We get some, sometimes we get some reflection and transmission. Here we get, see the transmission. We don't notice in this particular case that there is a uh, reflection, but there would be a little bit of reflection there. And here we've simply got, we're simply illustrating here the uh, transmission of the wave at this rather indistinct boundary, but it does show uh, one of the effects uh, of meeting boundaries and having transmission of waves.